Good morning. This is Agashwani Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Union Minister for Commerce and Industry, Piyush Koyal, said the budget 2024 is a budget for all which is aimed at creating Amrit BT for the country. Elaborating more on the budget, Koyal said it is a budget that would benefit 140 crore people living in India. Speaking at a function in Mumbai yesterday, the minister stated that this budget would not only uplift the poor, but farmers, youth and women would also be largely benefited from it. He said women would get more opportunities, farmers' income would increase and four crore youth would be prepared for the future through skill development and internships. This budget would help people in employment, ease of doing business would increase, MSMEs would get benefit and startups would get a boost. With a name to increase awareness about the importance of trees and to save the endangered environment, Assam Rifles yesterday organised Tree Plantation Drive at Dizid Village in Mon District. A press release issued by Assam Rifles said it was conducted as part of a week-long tree plantation drive and aligns with its ongoing efforts to foster sustainable practices and contribution to the ecological balance of the region. The event was marked by planting of over 550 saplings of various indigenous species, promoting biodiversity and combating climate change. Touching upon the challenge of drug menace, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said every family is worried that their child might get caught in the grip of drugs. He informed that the government has taken a special initiative called MANAS, which is a step in the fight against drug abuse. Addressing the nation in his Monkey Bar program on Akashvani yesterday, he said the helpline and portal of MANAS were launched recently and a toll free number. 1933 has been issued. Modi said anyone can call on this number to get necessary advice or information related to rehabilitation. The Prime Minister said all information shared with Manas will be kept confidential. He urged the people and all the institutions engaged in making India drug-free to make use of the Manas helpline. National Testing Agency NTA has declared the result of the Common University Entrance Test, CUET-UG 2024. The entrance test was conducted for over 14.99 like registered candidates. These candidates had applied for various combinations of subjects across 283 central, state and other participating universities and institutions for the academic session 2024-25. The examination was conducted between 15th May to 29th May at various centres located in 379 cities, including 26 cities outside India. The Supreme Court will organise a special Lok Adalat week starting today till the 3rd of next month. This initiative commemorates the 75th anniversary of the Apex Court. Speaking exclusively to Akashwani News, Justice Rishikesh Roy highlighted that Lok Adalats or People's Courts offer accessible and efficient justice that is both swift and cost effective. He said that the judgments passed by Lok Adalats are final and cannot be appealed or challenged in higher courts. Justice Roy emphasized that this initiative aims to provide justice to citizens in the simplest and quickest manner possible. Union Ministry of Education will celebrate the fourth anniversary of the implementation of the National Education Policy, NEP 2020, with Akhil Paradia Shiksha Samakam 2024 at Manekshaw Centre Auditorium in New Delhi today. The Akhil Paradia Shiksha Samakam has been conceptualised to reinvigorate the commitment of various stakeholders for the effective implementation of NEP 2020. On the occasion, Union Minister for Education, Tramendra Patan, will share his experience in spearheading the implementation of the NEP 2020. Pratan will also inaugurate several important initiatives of the Department of Education, including dedicated TV channels to facilitate learning of various Indian languages. The other initiatives include 10 Backless Days guidelines aimed to transform learning into a fun, stress-free experience in schools and career guidance guidelines. 
Prathan will also unveil several books and lecture notes aimed at promoting the Indian knowledge systems among students and teachers. With that, we come to the end of morning news. Have a nice day.